So this is lab assignment number five, the candy store app. If you see, we run the program. And then as you can see, we already have some items on our database. So this is the menu bar. And on this one, we can reset, we can reset the total price for the charges. And then we can also add, and then we can also delete and update the items on the database. So if we click on the add icon, we can enter the name, let's say chips with Ahoy. And then let's say the price $3. And then we click on add. You can see the message below, candy added. And then we just go back and then we can see the, the price on the database and the item. So now let's say we want to delete such item. We just click on this one and we just deleted the item at the bottom. It says the message, we just go back. And then let's say if we want to update the menu, update the price for one of those items on the menu, we just click on update. And then let's change this one to 39. So we just up, click on the update and it will see the message below, can be updated. And then we just go back. And then let's say we want to charge the customer. So let's say they pick this one. We can click on this one plus this one. It's gonna be 438 because we changed the price. So, so let's say we want to update the price again for the chocolate cookie to 149. We click on, on this update and then we just get the message, can be updated. We just go back and let's say we want to charge the, the customer for a chocolate cookie and one chocolate. As you can see, the price it's 836 because we never use the reset button to start from zero. So if we click on this one, it's gonna start from zero because this is another customer. So we just click on this one and we click on this and we get the expected value, 448. And that's it. This is our lab assignment number five, the candy store app. Thank you.